Hey everybody, welcome back to World of Tanks with Hachiman, uh, bringing you a replay here in the STRV 74. This is the tier 6 Swedish medium tank. I've actually seen one of these guys, the, um, the AAF Tank Museum, American Armored Foundation Tank Museum in Danville, Virginia actually has one of these. And when I first saw it, I said, what the heck is that? Of course, a couple years later, World Tanks popped out the Swedish tech tree. Um, this is a really goofy tank. I had him, he was in a replay a few months back that I showed where he earned the Tank Sniper Award in Terry Game. Um, this tank is not real fast, but it's not slow. Its armor is not that good, but it's got a very accurate 7.5 centimeter gun. Pretty good spot range. As you can see, I spotted some of those guys, picked up a little bit of damage. And the reload on the gun with rammer and vents, it's like four point um, four and a half seconds, somewhere in that ballpark, which is not very fast for seven point five gun, but what you have to keep in mind is the penetration on this on this gun is very good at one forty eight, substantially better than say the American three inch guns at tier six, but it also gets much higher average da or average damage per shell. So it ends up with a pretty good DPM plus look at one sixty four plus um, very accurate in 12 degrees of gun depression. depression. So I punished that Cromwell for a little bit, and then I switched to the Sturm Mule, who is not worried about me in the slightest. can't believe I bounced that shot, but I'm just going to pound into him. So one leaves him at 31, and I secure the kill. Tier 7 tank destroyer. Now I realize the game's getting away from me, so it's time to stop sniping and start moving. One more penetrating hit gets me fire for effect. There's the jumbo. I've got his side. Hit him for the kill. Though, didn't get fire for effect. <laughs> oh no, I didn't get the kill. Max got the kill. Excuse me. I am platoon with Max the Bacon Eater. Enemy team is capping, but that's a lost cause. The IS-2 best player on the enemy team just went down. He was a re-roll anyway, 0k battles with a blue W and 8. Alright, so now... Just having a hard time getting the shot of one on the Yog Panther, so instead I'm going to flank. And... There's the kill on the Yog Panther right there. Back off from the Firefly, and then pull one through his upper plate, back off again. And then here comes the Cavalry, they all charge the Firefly, so... I'll just lock on and zip by everybody. Get another hit into him. He gets the kill. And then I realized the look at that. That jumbo just bounced a heat round from a derp gun right off my turret. I could go right at him, but I choose not to. I got the assist damage on the M44. Then I swing around through the cap. I could try to cut off the Lorraine, but I'm pretty sure the E25 is going for him. Now I'm going to pound the jumbo. Got a side, one in, and then second one for the kill. Thanks for the help getting me turned there, Panther. I was trying to decide what direction I want to go with this, but I had to cut around the fountain. Apparently the Panther M10 didn't realize that I had to turn to go around the fountain. He kind of plows into my side, but that's okay. Panther M10 was on rental. So there's a lot of guys playing it right now that really aren't that familiar with the tank. Looking for the last two. But you can see this tank's just a really good mix of attributes. T-150 rear of them. Just lock on and start shooting. Second shot. I unlock. He's turning to look at me. Hit knocks out my engine. Alright, fine. I'm not even bothering to turn. I can take another hit from him, and it wouldn't matter. There it is, and now he's dead. Because my reload beats his. Third kill. Quick, fast paced action, less than five minutes. Let's take a look at the post game stats. 
So there it is, the Ace Tanker and the Tier 6 Swedish Medium Tank with the high caliber and the, pardon me if I mispronounce this, the Levis Lajos Metal, Levis Lajos Metal, however you pronounce it, but that's for killing at least two tanks or tank destroyers that are one tier higher. Um, almost 2400 damage, almost 800 assist damage, the high caliber award um, going to the Tier 6 Medium in a Tier 7 game. Now, moving on. Um, next screen is no surprise to anyone. Top of the team by over 500 base experience points. Uh, just completely ruled this one here. Um, third screen. You know, looking at the breakdown here, 23 shots fired, 19 hits, 17 pens. I told you the gun's extremely accurate. 2392 damage, only blocked 350. That one derp shell with a steady fired heat and made a profit of 36,583 credits because I didn't fire a single premium round and I don't. I don't even load premium on this tank. You don't need it. Now here's the question. Did you guys notice something that I didn't notice till after I went back to the main screen? Let's go back and look at it. So I go back to the main screen and it's sitting there right in front of me. I don't know if you've noticed it yet. Look at the bottom left. MT-15 complete with honors. This is MT-15 for the T-55A. Now, let me explain this as much as I can. I completed MT-15 for the T-55A a year ago. Okay, It was the first uh, of the mission number 15 for the third tank that I had completed. I completed it in the Jumbo, and I didn't complete it with honors because I didn't survive. You had to kill two tank destroyers that were at least a tier higher. You had to do 2,000 damage to tank destroyers. You had to survive and you had to win. I did everything but survive. I completed SPG 15, TD 15, Heavy Tank 15 with honors. Light tank missions, I've never been very good at them. It is my worst class. And I even went through these periods of I added all my tier 6 or 8 mediums to my to my favorites or to my primary bar and that's all I'm going to play all day until I win the mission. And guess what? I never did because you're trying too hard at that point. I didn't even try. I just played the game as it came to me. The tanks that presented themselves and I killed a Stur Emil and I killed the Yog Panther. There's my two tier 7s. I did over 2000 damage and I survived the game and we won the game. Um, so you know what this means. This means that there is a T-55A review coming very soon to this channel. And um, I'm really excited about it because I'm definitely a good player, but I'm no Unicum, I'm no Super Unicum. So to earn this tank finally after such a long period of time, it was just such a moment of excitement for me. And I, of course, had to play it right away. So um, that's what's coming up here in the very near future. And um, I hope you guys will enjoy it. And I hope you enjoyed watching this game. It was I spent more time talking after the game than I did actually showing the game. But it was it was um, it was quick, fast paced. I hope you'll like and subscribe for more. I uh, if you haven't already, again, this channel's for the average player, us guys who are never going to be as good as some of these other people we see on YouTube. But we just want to learn to be better. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you next time.